On today's episode of Identity, entrepreneur extraordinaire Murray Leg pops by for coffee. We head to Klipfontein, Bumalanga to learn more about the Insindebele culture. In our What's Happening segment, we feature an Islamic app. We also review a book by Dr. M.K. Mutsecha. And we wrap up the show with the eccentric sounds of Kama Queen. I, I, I am. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Sanbonani mzansi ya ne mgele gu identity Lushelo le tengolo ni bandu la basha Sia tisa, sia fuzisa, sikunzi sikutate Minil kama ni mpumi The Hindu Bhagavad Gita says It is better to live your own destiny imperfectly Than to live an imitation of somebody else's life with perfection With those enlightening words I hope that today's show inspires you to lead a purposeful life That you can be proud of and I'm pretty sure today's guest will further inspire you in that direction. Let's get going. Bruce Lee once said, always be yourself, express yourself, have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate it. Lele jahalin kleti nalo lo mutla ni tete imbu melelo la yenda injongo yake embilwen. Murray has said this in a blog, The world is way bigger than me and my worries, success and toils. As a man, it is my obligation to concern myself with my family and community. When he is not thinking about new business ideas, he spends time mountain biking, fly fishing, designing furniture, woodwork and traveling. I can't wait to pick this young visionary's brain. Welcome to Identity Murray. Thank you for me. I lost my breath there, trying to keep up with everything that you do. How do you manage to juggle between business and woodwork? Um, I just enjoy having fun. So um, as, as much as possible, if I can spend my day doing something that involves building, mm -hmm. um, whether it's Lego as, you know, as, as a youngster or now into woodwork, mm -hmm. whether it's building a company, um, that I really get my kicks from that. So, so I enjoy doing those sorts of things. So as a kid, Murray, were you into building stuff, building blocks? What kind of a kid were you? Um, so, so we grew up, interestingly, my dad's a mining engineer, so we grew up uh, very far away from the city, places like Stilfontein, Clarkstorp, mm -hmm. uh, Bloemfontein and Valcom. Um, so I had a very sort of strange upbringing that we would relocate every few months. Mm -hmm. um, I never really was good at relationships with, with youngsters or making friends. Um, so a lot of the time I used to just sort of spend time with myself with, and whether it was building Lego or getting up to some sort of mischief in the garden, um, that's really what, what my youth was about. And was spirituality part of your youth? So the upbringing that I, I went through, uh, primary school was in a Catholic school. Um, I'm a Catholic and we went to, to uh, Catholic church every weekend. And I think the best part about it was my dad was our spiritual lead in the house. And, and his um, sort of interpretation of the guiding um, tenets of, of Christianity is to rather um, try and live your life along the lines of, um, of the way that uh, the Ten Commandments really and, and the Lord's Word in, in everyday kind of life. So where you can interpret that into, into your everyday life, um, that's really the, the type of upbringing that I tried to pursue. I want to talk a bit more about um, your idea on business and young people, but I want to start with your own businesses. Mm. Peng Penguin Tutorial, how did that come about? So when I was at university, um, the, the, the difficult thing to do was to earn money. So mm -hmm. I decided to go and stay in a res at Pretoria University. I needed to make some money to pay for my, uh, for my university res. And and being passionate about maths and science, I thought a good way to do that would be to give extra maths and science lessons to kids. Mm -hmm. And being interested in digital as well, there was always an opportunity to develop a business platform that could reach um, not just m the, the time that I had, the time that my friends had, but also then into other cities, um, being able to help kids get through high school by having students teach maths and science. So it was, a, it was an easy way to learn how to, how to run a business, mm -hmm. um, but also feel that you were involved in someone's education. So that's how Penguin Tutoring started. 
and now it's expanded. It has. So it's uh, um, my friend and I, Dave Phillip, uh, we worked on a, a business system that now runs in the background um, that works on all of the customer relations management systems. It's franchised across the country. It's got operations in the States. Mm. And, and it's, it's great to see at the end of the year people that have had lessons done mm -hmm. um, and the success stories where kids were failing their maths and science and they're now passionate about it. So they're evangelizing the maths and science uh, in, in South Africa, which is great. Now from one successful company to retroviral digital communications, how do you manage the two? So retroviral really concerns itself with the communication of, of a brand's messaging to an audience that it wants to target. So as far as possible in the digital space, you can, you can have quite a bit of fun mm -hmm. in sending a brand's message out, uh, out into the world. So a very big personality in the digital world is Mike Sharman. Uh, him and I were at school together and we grew up, we knew each other since we were two and three years old and uh, he decided he wanted to make it his passion so I worked together with him and provided sort of the, the businessy side of it. Um, mm -hmm. On the suit he's the slops, he wears the pastel pants mm -hmm. and I keep the suit on, on hand and, uh, and we decided to form a company that would work with South Africa's best brands when digital was new in the world and start um, raising awareness about what products are out there and then reaching, reaching interesting audiences through that. So from tutoring to digital communications to cardiosynthetics, I, I, I am struggling to understand where the connection is. How did you get into that? That sounds like such a medical term. It is. So, so I've always been interested in the body. And, and I think as a, um, as a high school student, I actually wanted to become a surgeon. Mm. But um, I got exposed to a little bit of blood along the way. And that was not something that sat, sat very well with me. Mm -hmm. So decided that I rather wanted to take an engineering approach to working on the body. And so my, my study, my undergraduate and my postgraduate were all along the lines of a biomedical focus. And, and then found myself um, in a very interesting space, um, heart valves. So heart valves that are available, heart valve replacements, mm -hmm. um, were last innovated in the 1960s and, and, mo and mostly for the developed world. But there's a, there's a lot of cases, sort of in the region of about 500,000 cases a year of untreated uh, valve disease as a result of rheumatic fever. And myself and a surgeon from Glasgow have been working for the last eight years on a heart valve replacement that would suit not just the emerging market where those patients go untreated, mm -hmm. um, but also uh, it's applicable in the, in the developed markets. So, um, so I've sort of concerned myself with, with figuring out how engineering meets the body. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's always been a, an amazing challenge. I think on, on every turn when, you, when you're working with, um, whether it's the materials or the blood flow or the, the science behind it, you always realize that it's a, it's a perfect science. Your body is really an amazing machine. So to try and, as a human, innovate something that, um, that can work inside the body is, is sort of an ultimate challenge. And that's, that's what gets me up in the morning. So that's where the connection is. Murray, a lot of young people have come into entrepreneurship. In fact, uh, entrepreneurship is now the new buzzword, but not a lot of people focus in the science of business and you have a very diverse portfolio. What would you advise people who are getting into the space of entrepreneurship? The most important part that I think some entrepreneurs miss is that they have to add economic value. So whatever product, service or business that they've decided to start, that's, that's got to be the basis of it. Otherwise, um, it's always going to be difficult to try and sell your product. Oh, I wish we had more time. But I'm going to move away from all this business talk and play a song game with you. Okay. Finish off the song. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Mendoza's Nkalagat. Mm -hmm. Nkalagata. Uh -huh. <laughs> Finish off this song. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the eye, eye of, of the, the tiger. tiger. It's the view of the fight. Got the beat, you got the beat. Yeah. Okay, guess the artist. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. Eminem. Yay! Okay, finish off the song. Murena Buluka si chava sai su. Ufe di se tintuani matwe. Thank you so much, Mary, for coming and sharing all the information and inspiring young people in our country. Everything except music. That's no yeah, problem. Well. Thank you. We'll excuse you there. <laughs>
nguyeke Mary loyo thine la ku identity si athemba kuthi Mary utoqhubekela embili athinze aphindze aguqule timbilo tebantu labasha ba lining zim Africa time for our first commercial break when we return we learn more about the colorful isindebele culture with our guest presenter and clip fontaine siyabuyanya This is my identity. This is my identity. Thank you for staying tuned to Identity, the show that aims to inspire and entertain. It's time now for this week's Encounters Insert. Sithole mlayeto ku Facebook lophuma kunela mahlangu lofundzeka ngalena ndlela. Hi Identity, my name is Nela Mahlangu from Clipfontein near Guamhlanga in the Mpumalanga province. I would like to invite your team to come and find out more about the beautiful Isindebele culture. I hope to see you soon. Bye. Here on Identity, we love to share your community and cultural stories with the rest of Mzansi. Sichinge kwamhlanga ke ucithi isikhathi nonela wakhe wasifundisa ngesiko lamandrebele. Thokozela nasi ndraba yalomntazana. This is my identity. Hello identity viewers. Igama lami nginginela kwakwa mahlangu ngokuhlala nginzinze ngale ngebhukuni uduku ngakwandebele. Namhlanje size lapha engwenyameni ngizokufunda kabanzi ngesiko lami asikhambeni ke sizokubona. Namhlanje na ke sinaye ubaba umnguni lapha ozosihlathululela kabanzi bonyana umuntu umuntu wembathi usilalela yiphi indima esikweni lamandebele Baba umnguni ke besingathanda bonyana usihlathululele namhlanje sibonyana umuntu omuntu wembathi udlala yiphi indima esikweni lamandebele Eh sibo baba ngesikhethu umntwana uthana aqede ukubelethwa athi nakuvela inyanga nde nakumsana umakhe athathe inrongana awumruruzela umkhombisi inyanga athi ruru na ngumngana kho sikhethu ke leso ngani bese akhuleke amsana njalo nathi umuba msanyana akuthi umukhula mdatho me ngekukulusa imbuzi thome imbuzi inalusa imbuzi nasela mkhudlwanyana ke ndani ayokulusa inkomo nasuke enkomeni ke ndani alandela abana kwabo naba yokudlala inronga siyagwaba ke nje uba ubizwa ngokuthiwa ulitsha athome kabe litsha abona abomntwana abomnaka wabo ukuthi inronga bayidlala njani ukusuka lapho ke naye angene besegwabeni ke agwabe 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 naqede ugwaba bese kufike isikhathi sokuthi use stage ini sokuthi kufanele ayokwela ndani ke usuka lapho ke uyokwela naqede ukwela ke uyagoduka uyise amhlabeli ikomo bese ke uyadlula ke ubalisokana se ungene endimeni yokuthi ndathatha uma godu malukazana ekhaya apha ungene ebhodeni ke uyokuphuma ke ukuthuma uma godu akodu zela ciqede ugodiza uyokuphuma ke ayokwakhelwa iqathana lakhe nasuke iqathaneni ase ukwakhela umzakhe ke nje nake siniphathele uma unamabena yena ozonihlathululela bonyana uma udlala yiphi indima esikweni lamandebele ma unamabena besingathanda bonyana usihlathululele bonyana uma udlala yiphi indima esikweni lamandebele uma khulisa abantwana eh ngesiko lekhaya abafundise lona ababaphethele lona eqini ke langa bakhulise ngana sithakhulisa ngalo mhlawumbe bathombisa noma bawisela nase bafike ezingeni lokwela nelokuthoma abathathise ngesiko lalo omuzi loyo azabe akiwe mama mapena besingathanda bonyana usihlathululele bona izambatho ozimbethe kwezi zivizwane begodi zimbatho abantu abanjani ngiyathokoza engibethe kokho ngathi ibereto kho sithithi na umphayiri umbatho abantwana ongambatho abomma ongambatho abantu nase bakhulile ase bathombile Eh okse pandlo ku ngumkhala ukuthi ngifake emhlami emkhala embili mara kuya ngokuthi wena uyihlobisa njani bese engifake entanyeni sithiwa sibani bese lesisikhona nesodwa esimhlobe kuthiwa ngokuyedlana bese ingubo lese umbhalo umgubo ngiyembethe iyambathwa abantazana iyambathwa abomma bese ngiyenyaweni izingholwane 
bese ingapambi lo kuguli porto ngiko ganengi okshukan sago guti umundo umbani. Mama pena se wabona gavanda zana na pa ba se wan bete ba ya fanela bese ngata na banya nusla tulule le wana avang bete go kuyin. Eh, wan bete mukala eshogweni, wan bete umngamo endanyeni, wan bete irasi endanyeni, wan bete ikhabi. Eh, ba ba fage ito ulangi mumba. Well, nasega at at home bido ufaga istimba, uzo kufaga istimba jenga dis. Ese enges fage legos, ba zobenzi lin timba, ba bamba tin tim, ba fage im im rivat, ba ba shobi sile enya wenza. Mama pena se mbona nangu numsanya na mushumbe tu ya fanela, pesa ngata nusla tulule le bonya nangu beto go kugubizwa. Eso we ni wembete um um kile. Wambata irasi, enda nyeni, wakabisa ngi mngamo, umbete ipecha. My identity viewers, nge kawanga wanyana ni azbuza la penseliko na wanyana gubayini minangi mbete ngale njeli mbete ngayo. Tinaga mandevele, nge njeli mbete ngayo le sibizo wanyana smangene ngene, sima 14. Nge zon kazi sela izi ndu ingi zimbete gwezi. Loke nge mbete nga pambili. Ibizo bonyana ipepetu. Umshobo ipepetu ibizo bonyana mparo. Loko genge ngebete la gubizo bonyana iraso. Loko genge nyeze la gubizo bonyana zinkozo. Loko genge gubizo bonyana isivini. Umamulu. Loko gubizo bonyana isefana. Ya togozo. Ndwe yange nzabona nkete umfumo wesi ndu ngungo guba Aba ndu waba cha eskati nsanji Sanji Aba sa kolelo eskati wini So Gimu ndo mucha Kazi kanda uti ngono mfume umfumo eskati uze eskati tutu uze Ntembe bonyana niktabele ugumu nami Beko tinifundega vanzi ngeli mula mandevele Nange sigo lao, nange mvela pia hao Sizo guyela, estudio gusesu mpumi Nga togoza, bye! South Africa is a beautiful country filled with amazing people and stories. Thank you, Nella, for sharing your piece of sunshine with us. Mzansi, I hope that this story has given you some insight into the Isindebele culture and has inspired you to learn more about your own culture. Umanawe ufana na Nella, unenzaba lufisa kusetfulela yona, sitfumele i email go identitytvshow at gmail.com. Sisa tatalenya ikefu, when we come back, we will head straight into our What's Happening Media segment, where we will be reviewing a handy Islamic app as well as a must-read book about the Mujaji dynasty. Ungayin zao. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to Identity, the show that puts the info in infotainment. If you have just tuned in, you missed out on an eye-opening chat with entrepreneur Murray Leg. Our encounter story took us to Clubfontein in Bumalanga, where we learned more about the Isindebele culture. Time now to head into our techno-savvy What's Happening segment. Islam is one of the world's biggest religions. Muslims follow a religion of peace, mercy and forgiveness. Today we check out iIslampedia to find out more about the religion. iIslampedia is an Islamic encyclopedia available in both English and Arabic. The app contains five different informative tabs, the first one being the Holy Quran, which is the central religious text of the religion of Islam. The second tab is the Prophet Stories, which is a compilation of information regarding various prophets and messengers throughout the history of Islam. Learn more about the pillars of the Islamic faith by selecting the Pillars of Islam tab. The pillars are the five basic acts in Islam considered mandatory by believers and are the foundation of a Muslim life. The fourth tab is the 110 Hadith. The Hadith is a report of the traditions or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and is one of the religion's major source of guidance after the Quran. 
The Holy Quran states that the most beautiful names belong to Allah, so call on Him by them. This app's 99 Names of Allah tab makes sure you are able to do this anytime, anywhere. So if you are looking to learn more about the religion of Islam or are looking for a convenient way to access Islamic content on the go, then download the iIslampedia app today. Our next review is of a book by Dr. M.K. Mutsecha that sheds some light on some of the historical events that make up the Mujaji dynasty. The Mujaji Dynasty, The Principles of Female Leadership in African Cosmology by Dr. M.K. Mutsecha is a book that studies the Mujaji dynasty lineage. It traces the Mujaji dynasty history to the Mwanamutapa dynasty of Great Zimbabwe, the Mapungubwe civilization in the Limpopo Valley and their ancient roots in Sudan. The book aims to investigate the principles of female leadership in Southern Africa using the Mujaji cosmology as the source of the study. Cosmology is the study of the origin, evolution and eventual fate of the universe. Some of the chapters of the book include the African cosmology and spirituality, the peopling of Africa and the birth of the Tobela kingdoms in Limpopo. The book also recounts the history of the Balubedu tribe and their female rulers. It details events in history that have shaped the great traditions of the Mujaji dynasty. Learn more about the fascinating matriarchal history of the Mujaji kingdom by getting your hands on the Mujaji dynasty, the principles of female leadership in African cosmology today. I hope that the identity team and I have given you some food for thought. The 20th of October marks National Down Syndrome Day. Down syndrome is a condition in which extra genetic material causes delays in the way a child develops. In South Africa, Down syndrome is the largest single cause of intellectual disabilities. So let us raise awareness about this condition and help educate others. On the 23rd of October, the Hindu community will celebrate Dipavali, also known as Diwali. This festival of lights is an ancient Hindu festival that spiritually signifies the victory of light over darkness, knowledge over ignorance, good over evil and hope over despair. We wish our Hindu community a happy Diwali. Ngokhohla kutsandza likhasi lethu ku Facebook nobe usilandzele ku Twitter na ku Instagram buka ligama lelithi identity tv show kuwo omathathu ungasitfumela ne email ku identity tv show at gmail.com siyivala ngaca magwini athi lidali thonga ngimpuma imbethe ngiyamsana nelithimba le identity akube mnanzi